Hey guys, it's Mark Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting to why are the people taking so long to accept Islam by Dr. Zaki Naik. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. Like, I saw this on YouTube and I was like, nah, I need to check this out. I need to check this out. And I'm going to be giving my own opinion on why I feel people are taking long to accept Islam. Guys, let's get straight into this. Uh, brother Zakir Naik, Aslam Alaikum. I'm Namita, a kindergarten teacher by profession. First of all, let me congratulate you for all your commendable work in spreading the message of peace, love, and brotherhood. I want to ask you, Brother Nayak, if Quran is the God's word, if Islam is truly the way of life, then why are people taking so long in realizing and accepting it? Sister, that's a very good question. Quran is the word of God, Islam is the true religion. Why are people taking so long in accepting it? Sister, the straight path is not always easy to follow. Your perception differs. The perception of each individual differs. For example, a person who may not be following Islam, oh, if I accept Islam, he may be an alcoholic. I'll have to stop having alcohol. I may have to stop going out with girls and dating. So then that will prevent him. So what he thinks, okay, fine. It's guys, I want to ask a question. Don't you guys date like... To be honest, eh, me, personally, I feel I'm not in for relationship or dating yet, but I'm not interested for now, but, like, I just wanted to add, but it would be better for you to date someone so you can get to know the person before you marry. But sometimes, it will lead you to doing committing sense, sense, sense. I get, I get the point, but, like, this answer is question. Don't you date, like, this is actually, I think, the second time I'm hearing it, but just answer this in my comment section. Islam may be good, but I don't want to stop my alcohol. I don't yeah. want to stop going out flirting with girls. I don't want to stop having pork. So when you learn, there may be certain hitches that may come. Maybe a person may not be alcoholic. Maybe he may not be having pork, but he may think, okay, now I accept Islam. That means for 40 years I was a fool. Oh, I better not accept Islam. Some may think, if I accept, what will my friends say? What will my mother say? What will my father say? So all these obstacles, sister, only if you can overcome these obstacles, can you accept the truth. So therefore, what you have to realize, that the message is clear. The message is logical. It's absolutely clear. But there are other things which are there in the baggage. A person has to be so strong that, fine, if this is the truth, I'm ready to accept the truth, even if I have to leave my other non-Muslim friends. And believe me, sister, this is only a perception. And many non-Muslims who have accepted Islam, and yet they've got their old friends. And people tell me, oh, Zakir, don't speak to non-Muslim, you lose the friendship. I've got very good non-Muslim friends also. Mashallah, they respect me. You have appreciated me. Mashallah, you're a non-Muslim. So my job is to present the truth. And one more thing, Quran clearly mentioned in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 256, like Rafid Deen, there's no compulsion religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Our job, sister, is to present the truth. Whether a person accepts it or not, it depends upon him. If Almighty God wanted everyone to accept, it's very easy. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99. If he wanted, he could have made all the human beings believers. Very easy. Kun fa kun, very easy. But where is the test? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Now when a person realizes the truth, everything you realize the truth, you don't follow. You may follow 80%, you may follow 50%. There are very few people who follow 100%. Even all the Muslims don't follow 100%. Some Muslims may have bad habits, yet 
they are Muslim. So what do you have to realize, sister, the major points of oneness of God and believing in the last and final messenger and believing in the hereafter, these two, three points are the most important, sister. And that's the same thing I'll tell you, sister. You ask me the question, I'll ask you the same question. Then what is taking you so much time to accept the truth, sister? Dr. Zakir Naik, I would just like to tell you something, that here, with your blessings, I accept Islam and repeat the kalma, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasul Allah. MashaAllah, sister, may Allah, may Allah bless you. And Allah come to Jannah, inshallah. Sister. And welcome you, sister. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and come to Jannah. Ameen. No. Guys, this is beautiful. Like, I love the fact that when she got her facts right, like, she was like, there's, there's nothing stopping me. But first of all, there's one thing that can I said, and it, it has been ringing in my brain since I reacted to it. It was like, when someone wants to accept Islam, or when someone wants to become a Muslim, he don't actually become it. He reverts. But you were one, everyone is was a Muslim by birth. So be thinking of it. He was like, Muslim means I don't know if it's Muslim or Islam. It means believing in one God. Yes. So I I, I can say all Christians are Muslim. Because since Christians, if you ask any Christian in this life, if you ask any Christian in this life if they worship one God, they'll tell you yes. So I can say all Christians are Muslim. Yes. <laughs> that was hard. But I feel why people take it hard to accept Islam is the fact that I feel for Christians is the fact that Muslim does not believe that Jesus died. Because I feel that's one thing that, that keeps like, I don't know how to put it. That is one thing that keeps Christian faith. Like, but we believe solely in that fact that the point of Jesus being born on earth was to die for our sin. So this is something we believe so, so much. And I know the Quran said Jesus didn't die, but the Bible itself said Jesus died. So it's like, who is right and who is wrong? You get me. So this is what... I feel I haven't gotten the answer to yet. The fact that Muslims does not accept the fact that Jesus died and somehow strange, but and another point is the fact about movies. Like I feel movies is one of the reasons things that put put up in movies like they make people afraid to even make research about the religion. Because that's the truth. Movies have actually changed people's mindset. Like, when people see terrorists, they're, they're like, these are Muslims, that kind of stuff. Maybe because, I would say, because you guys kind of have the same dressing outfits, but I feel for the fact someone is from maybe, uh, maybe someone is an Arabic does not mean the person is, even if the person is an Arabic and is a Muslim and is a terrorist, does not mean all Muslim are terrorists. That is like a tiny proportion. Let me see like 1% of Muslims that actually believe in that. And another thing, this is something I was actually circulating. Like, these are things that I was, I, I kind of had before I even knew Muslim. I'm saying things that me, myself, I, I don't really felt like checking out Muslim. This is another thing. The same as a Muslim, if you kill someone, you are going to receive 10 virgins. I don't know if this is a myth or. Please explain the comment section. This is something that I try to do. It. Yeah, this is something I actually do here way, way back. So, kind of. Sounds strange. Like if you kill someone, you receive ten virgins when you go there. Like is it ten or seven virgins? Like it kind of sounds strange. Guys, don't just like, share, subscribe to my channel. And tell me what you think about my questions. Please answer my questions in the comment section, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.